Okay, hello and welcome everybody to the first official Valorant premiere for the guys this week. We had the Game Changers last week, uh, if you caught that, you heard me there. We're on camera this week, uh, second time. We had Rocket League on uh, Monday with camera, uh, if you were there. But this week we have the Grand Valley State University Lakers versus the Waukesha County Technical College Owls. Hello. So I'll be one of the hosts, my name's Evan. Hi, I'm Jenna, one of the other hosts. Yes. Can't wait to watch the good Valorant today. Hopefully it's yes. uh, we can see a little bit of a better games than we did last week. Um, we saw the Lakers of the Game Changers, I guess, last Wednesday. Uh, and their second game was, was kind of more of a sweep. Um, first game was a little close. Second game, way more of a sweep. But what are you looking forward to most today? I'm interested to see the new team comps, especially with all the new agents with yep. ISO coming into the mix. Yep. I will be interested to see if people play them, how they play them. So, yeah. yeah, I think it mostly comes down to comfortability, too, and, yeah. and, and map selection, obviously. Um, we'll see if we get any uh, any mixture of, like, Lotus, any of those newer maps. Um, if we'll stick back to the older maps, like Ascent, where everybody's comfortable. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see here. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we should be loading up here into the lobby pretty soon. Um, and we'll go from there. We'll see what everybody wants to play. Hopefully, there's no technical issues like we had last week. Apologies again. Apologies again. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we go tonight. Your Lakers are excited. They're ready to kick some butt. Rocket League yep. won really handedly. Uh, we actually played the same school uh, in Rocket League on Monday that we will be playing uh, in Valorant here today. So we'll see if we can get it done on both sides of the aisle. Looks like tomorrow night we've got a Smash game. Uh, if you'd like to tune in to see that versus Sienna Heights, different school this time. <laughs> uh, yeah. 7 p.m. sharp, just like the rest of the streams here. All right. Yeah. We're really excited to see these new players here. Like we said, it's the first premiere time or premiere game that we've ever streamed here yep. in our new broadcast studio. We've Pretty got cool. a brand new broadcast studio that we're working on. Work in progress, obviously, as we come from last week, going from just hearing my voice to this time you can you Actually can see, see us. us and see the game. You got Andrew back in the booth back there this time. Not as comfortable casting Valorant. It's not necessarily <laughs> his game, uh, but he's in the back. He's producing this week. So we're just waiting for our players here to get, get into lobby and, and get started. I'll be interested to see the different lineups that we might get. Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite agent? Ooh, I'm, a, I'm a Sky main, so okay. I've been leaning more towards learning ISO and Gecko and Baird, just that way. Kind of branch out a little bit. How about you? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a duelist. I'm a duelist main. Uh, duelist main at heart. Yeah, you can ask any of my buddies. Uh, they'll call me the the brain dead jet player. But uh, but when I when I get heated up, they get heated up. She's a fun character to play. You know, I, I in my comp games I'll fill. Like I'm not yeah. gonna I'm not gonna auto lock a duelist and, and throw the game. I'd rather play an initiator to control her. Mm. KO's a favorite of mine, too. KO's a lot of fun. His flashes are a little complicated for me. I like having a lot more control with them, personally. Yeah. It's, they're, they're definitely CSGO-style flashes, yeah. for sure. Um, but he's way he's, he's way more into the meta mix now, especially with that Sky nerf recently. No yeah. more, no more uh, 
They get back the of girl. the flash. Yes, I know. I've got a I've got a buddy myself who's also a Sky main, and uh, he would always throw that first flash right at the start of the yep. round because you got it back. No longer. You have to no be a lot longer. more purposeful with your flashes yes. and making team plays more impactful. Because Absolutely. Because you don't have that regen. Unless Absolutely. you're playing a double flash, and then you have more leniency. Yeah. So what do you think of the new character in ISO? I think ISO has a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I feel like he feels a little bit more like an initiator yep. than a traditional duelist. Um, like, yes, he does feel very selfish play, play style-wise, but he also does feel very team-oriented. Like, you need to be able to work with your team, especially with that... Um, with his vulnerable yep. ability, yep. can affect your own team. So you have to be very careful how you play. Yep. So I think he makes the game a lot more interesting and a little bit more team-oriented if you're playing as a duelist. Absolutely. I would agree. You know, he's got the huge wall ability, too, yeah. pushes the team into sight, right? I mean, the only, like, duelist-type ability he really has is uh, is the little, the I guess, one instance of damage that he can receive if he gets a kill. Um, mm -hmm. Forget the name of that, that new ability, oh, but... I had it literally right in my head a second yeah. ago. <laughs> it, is, it is an interesting one. Um, can't say I'm a double tap. Yes, double tap. That's the one. Can't say I'm a big fan of his ult, though. His uh, ult's very hit or miss. It's, yes, incredibly hit or miss. I mean, I guess so says the name ISO. You take him into a, a random shadow realm somewhere not even in the game. One versus one, 50-50 shot. I'm not sure how I feel about uh, an ultimate ability being a 50-50 chance for you to win or lose. Um, but the players who love him love him. Players who hate him hate him. Um, I'm not a I'm not the biggest fan. I've been I've been learning how to play him. I've been enjoying the him. Mm -hmm. Um, I think currently he is my favorite duelist. Okay. I used to be a Yoru fan, but okay. So two way out of the park <laughs> picks here, yep. Yoru and Isuo as the favorite duelist. Okay, interesting. I can't get over Jed's new dash. It, c it tricks me up every time. Now you just have to be more intentional. Yeah. You have to be way more intentional. Um. It takes way less of a brain dead jet now to mm -hmm. to know how to use a flash. If you want, especially on defense, right, using yeah. it effectively. I mean, if you pop your flash up and you get it ready to go, or your dash up, I should say, and you get it ready to go, and you think you hear a couple footsteps, and then they rotate out, you wasted your flash, right? Mm -hmm. So it is very interesting. It takes a lot more thought process, but uh, we'll see if anybody on uh, either the Lakers or the Owls here tonight uses the jet effectively, or uh, what the team comps will be hopefully here pretty soon. I think the Jet will be a lot more common compared to the ISO just because I know a lot of players still feel very comfortable with Jet compared mm -hmm. to ISO. Um, he's definitely newer and changes the game up a lot more. Absolutely. So I i won't be surprised if we see a Jet. I'll be a little surprised if we see an ISO just because I've seen so many polar, polarizing opinions on him. Yeah. Either way, I'm excited. The interesting thing will be uh, we do have Valorant, the Valorant Champions Tour, the, the major uh, tournament for yes. Valorant Professional is coming up starting this Friday. Um, if you are a student at GVSU, we are having an, uh, a watch party here at the Laker East Bus Center five starting at 5. Yep, 5 right here, basement of Kirkhoff. Pizza and Red Bull for you caffeine addicts out there just like the rest of us. Uh, be there, be square. But I think it'll be really interesting to see if any of the professionals play ISO, how they play ISO, and what maps they play ISO on. Because that could see a bit more mixture in these collegiate yeah. these collegiate games here uh, once we see how the pros really do it. So, What team are you rooting for? Oh, man. I'm a 100 Thieves fan. 100 Thieves Fair. at heart. You know, we got a big first game matchup against mm -hmm. Sentinels in the bracket. It's really interesting. Two of the top dogs in NA. Um, but I'm really partial. I'm really partial to 100 Thieves. Got my boy Nade Shot. Um, I, I love him. What about you? Um, I've been rooting for Cloud9 and Fnatic. I've been a Cloud9 fan since I started getting into Valorant okay. and getting into the pro scene. So, fingers crossed. Or also, first day. I don't remember who they're going against, though. I, don't I think they're the they're the second I think match. They're the second match. Yeah. I just can't remember who they're against. Yeah, I I think it was a bit of a uh less known team that Cloud Nine's playing against. But does that mean you're also kind of a partial Sentinels fan cuz Tens used to play for Cloud Nine or or not really? Well, I also like Sentinels. Um mm -hmm. I don't know who I'm going to root for for the first match cuz I do like Hundred Thieves. I think they're really entertaining and yes. I do like a lot of their plays that they've yes. made. But I am also a Tens fan, so yes. I'm like a Sentinels. Who knows? <laughs> Either way, it's a win-win. Yes. Both those teams have seen a lot of roster changes recently, yeah. too. Like, totally different than even just two years ago when VCT really started. But it's it'll be really interesting to see. You know, we've got uh, Loud, a former champion in the yes. NA bracket. That'll be a huge one to look out for. I wonder um, if they're going to keep that title. We'll see. We'll see. My, uh, we. I, I'm really excited to watch Leviathan too. They have uh, one yeah. of my one of my favorite players, Taco Leah, literally just because of the name, Taco <laughs> Leah. He plays for Leviathan. They're a, uh, 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 they're from Mexico, still North American team. Um, but yeah, it'll be super interesting. Like I said, uh, we'll see 
how that pro play affects mm -hmm. the collegiate level. Um, and also Premier, too. I don't know about you. I'm on a Premier team myself. I'm not on one of them. Not but have you watched any Premier gameplay? Like I have from watched some of them. I've watched a couple of the Game Changer stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen some of their practice matches from when yeah. I'm in the lick at the same time as yeah. them. And... I have high hopes. I think they're going to do well. How about yeah. you? Yeah, no, uh, I'm, I'm playing my own little premier team. Um, we're currently 8-0. Hey, let's not go. A, we're in one of the um, the middle divisions, okay? Not Nothing to nothing to go crazy about, but it is, we are 8-0. Um, really fun so far. I got to say, if you if you play Valorant, you've got a five stack, or even if you can just find a, a community, whatever, through Discord, through tra Tracker GG, you know, somebody looking for a game, mm -hmm. play premier. Super fun, super good way. Um, you can do it at GV2. Come join Intramurals Club Sports here at Esports, at the Esports Center. Yeah. Play Valorant if you love it. If you hate it, still play Valorant. Yeah. <laughs> we all, everybody who plays Valorant has a love-hate relationship with it, right? So Every time I get on Valorant, I start complaining. My friends are like, if you're going to complain this much, get off. And I said, I can't. No, exactly. <laughs> it's bordering on an addiction. Not really, though. I feel like for some people it definitely is addiction level. <laughs> yes, without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, you know, me personally, um, there's been a couple times. You know, snow days, weekends, couple long hour session mm -hmm. grinds. Um, what can you do? You know, you love the game, you are good at the game. Even if you're not good at the game, just have fun with it, right? Yeah, the game. It's a game. You just have fun it's not meant to be like you're good at it or you're bad at it yep. you just happen to be one way or the other you're one way or the other plus also ranks don't really mean anything it's just it's also true a picture or something it doesn't matter if you play well you play well it doesn't matter what rank you're at so yeah when i don't play well <laughs> it's not fun you can ask my parents i've been yelled at many times Is for, that, for do you get loud upset. when you lose yes yes or when something stupid happens yes um try to rein it in a little bit more a little bit more as of late, but uh, yeah, no, definitely, definitely get a little upset. It's a, it's a, it's a rage-inducing game for sure. Yeah. Anything made by Riot Games, definitely rage-inducing. I would say I've got a couple friends that play League, and I only ever hear them complain about it. I can't really say anything else about it. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> League is League is League is not my thing. I've played like two games. I would say I played a single uh, AI match with yeah. a friend when I was starting to learn. That's yeah. about it. It's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, not for the faint of heart. I don't think any sure. Riot game or like FPS game really is. No, no. <laughs> every, I mean, every game now, whether it's even if you're playing the unranked, that you have hidden MMR, I guess, in Valorant or uh, skill-based matchmaking in Call Overwatch of Duty. Especially. You can't even you can't play a, a first-person shooter anymore without having some sort of skill-based matchmaking. It doesn't matter if you're if you're playing, you know. Or unranked people that or treat unranked as a comp game. Yes, yes, and take it way too seriously. Absolutely. It's like, why do you get upset? It's unranked. It doesn't mean anything. Exactly. But time for another plug. Yes. Like I said, if you are wanting to play competitive, GV Esports, always absolutely looking for people. Like we said, free Red Bull too. Red yeah. Bull car came just last week. We still got multiple cases. Come by, grab a Red Bull, play some video games. Got tons of games. We have, I don't need 20 plus? Right? Something like that now, yeah. Whether it's you want to play competitively, whether you just want to come drop in and play games for a couple hours, totally free, mm -hmm. come game. What and else? And it's can also you really a really say? great way to make some friends and yes. build a new community. Yes. Like some of my really close friends that I've made since coming to college have been in the esports program. Yes, I played Valorant for for Grand Valley my freshman year mm -hmm. on one of the one of the teams that we did, um, and that's how I've met some of my lifelong buddies, uh, specifically here at GV. But they're all great dudes. Mm -hmm. Meet people through video games. There's nothing like it. There really Plus, isn't. if you are a girl or feminine identifying, we have women's game nights. Um, I don't remember what our next one is, but we close the LEC for drop-in. You get, we get to come in. We have pizza. We have soda, and just come have a like safe environment to play video games. Yeah, it's all great. Great things happening at the Lake Erie Sports yes. Center. Looks like we are getting into the game Let's finally. See. Okay, perfect. Looks like we do have Lotus. Ooh, this we is an interesting pick. We do have Lotus. Awesome. So. Okay, oh. Grand Valley's locking oh. quick here. Um, a chamber, a breach, yes. and a viper. Chamber pick is interesting. Not probably not my personal favorite yeah, sentinel um, pick on this map. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of chamber, but if you can play him well, yes. he's really strong. You know what else I do see here is a double controller. That does not surprise me. Lotus is a is a big map. There are three sites on Lotus, so having a double controller is is very very effective. 
especially for Omen. Um, if you're trying to play his smokes, you could be out of range at some points here. So having the Viper to play A site and maybe have Omen either on B or, or flexing over towards C is, mm -hmm. is really a really good strategy here. And then we see on WCTC, we have the Double Initiator, mm -hmm. which is a really fun meta. I love playing Double Initiator um, with the Fade and the Breach, which is not necessarily my first choice. I would have got seen like KO Breach, Sky Breach, or Sky KO, or not, or uh, Sky Fade. Yes. But it's an interesting pick. No, for sure. I mean, you've got the two, like one of the largest AOE alts in the game. Both of yeah. them have very large, so you use those in combination, deadly. Absolutely deadly. If you were here for the Game Changers game last week, we saw uh, the enemy the enemy team have a, a breach that didn't really effectively use their utility. So we'll see if we got a breach on both sides here. So we'll see if, uh, if we'll see if we can get some good executes off of the breach utility this time around, um, and go from there. It looks like we are in the game. See, GV will be defending first. Yes. Here we go. I'll be interested to see where all the players set up looks like. We've got GV leaving B kind of open. I we see I think a couple trips. Is that where it is? Possibly, yeah. Uh I mean B is an easy site to flex to from yeah. either site, you know. Um plus most most teams do go A here first yeah. round, piss around and that's exactly see. what the owls are gonna do. It'll be a five A hit for the owls. They will stun. use their breach stun instantaneously. Won't see hit anybody. An from GV. You'll see the our GV omen here will get flashed as he pushed up, and the fade dog spots him. It will he be able to get him. one? No, but oh. Pony will get the trade. On me out of here. She's gonna push up too. We'll get good chip damage. Ooh. Get a second, but also get traded. It's like GV is. Might be pushing up towards door. See if we can catch one off guard here. It doesn't look like anyone from the Owls will choose to take door, though, as the all three opting for main here. Playing a slightly more aggressive push. Well, they don't know Luff's there. They oh, will try to clear know. him, but he will die. He will use the breach utility, Get the s misses the KJ, will get a headshot, but she won't go down. She is low on health, though, so they're fairly even in terms of... Yeah, it was an unfortunate right click on that classic. Hit him for yeah. 78, but couldn't get the second bullet down. Looks like we've got a 2v2 here situation. They do have the fade eye. 30 seconds left. Yes, so they, they could do. get some intel there. There's the fade eye. Comes out, won't hit anybody. Owls will plant. One enemy gets one in tree Five and gets the planter there as well. Is. Great first pistol from the Lakers here. Two weeks in a row, first pistol for the Lakers. Do come to down to a little close. They were, they're long, drawn-out pistol rounds, which you don't always see. I feel like pistol rounds typically are very, very quick. Yes. So having a long, drawn-out one could be good, especially figuring out play styles, yep. how the other team wants to do things. Yep, absolutely. Looks like we will see some Viper utility set up B here, at least from B. Yeah, it looks like the wall will go from B over to A here. It's a nice Viper wall. Cuts off B main and A main, and then she'll flex over to C. Looks like we got a, a maybe a 3-1-1 here for the Lakers. 3A, 1B, and 1C. Looks like the Owls are kind of playing maybe a little bit of a default. They're going to do a 1-3-1. Yeah. Very similar to the Lakers spread here, just different sites. Chamber will get one. Get first blood, but there's the trade. Yep, first trades go down. GV up by one kill as, as we speak here. They do have the buy round this time, so for those of you who aren't necessarily very conditioned with Valorant, usually the team who wins the first round, which is called the pistol round, uh, buys up to SMGs or light rifles here to try to get some advantage, and barely f survives that pistol, but will get the kill. 4v1 here, and then goes down to the Sheriff. It does pick up Spike, and it looks like they're going to be rotating, or at least watching flank. Curious to see if they go for a rotate on A, which I think they will. Yeah, I mean it's not really not really that advantageous here to, to save just a deagle. Yeah. Might as well try to get some plant money. Or even get guns out of one of them. Absolutely. Try to do as much damage as you possibly can here on your on your save. She doesn't Oh, there. Uh, there we go. So the hatch was open. I was not sure if the hatch was open or not, but it was. She didn't clear it, which is unfortunate. And G V goes up to O. You see GV is they see what, ugh, owls are buying up 
You have the turret for flank, which is a very this is a common turret spot. I typically leave my turrets for back. later. But for sure. Oh, changing it. You do want some, using the kill joint attack though for flank watch is very common. I yeah. Mean, she's got great utility for it. Otherwise, she's she's. I mean, besides playing po post plant with the mollies there, mm -hmm. she killjoy is pretty useless on attack. So, a flank turret or a flank alarm bot is 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 pretty typical. Looks like we're gonna see a huge, huge bit of action here right off the bat as GV and the owls will both push up on each other on a site. Owls like, getting yeah, they got getting two. two, but getting traded by a viper. Fade dog will go into B. So will the KJ molly. Looks like they might try to go from A to B here, but they don't know that the Lakers all fell off at A. They have A site for free. Owls are up by one in terms of players, and they do have site. They absolutely they're do. They're going to go for that plant. They will plant the default spot here as KJ places their alarm bot in the little cubby. And and Molly yeah. onto spike. She'll play, she'll play post plant, which is probably the best thing you can play as a kill drone attack. Yep. Their omen's about half, half health here for the Owls. So 3v4 for the Lakers this trying to retake done. the site here and see what they can do, get done here. The Breach oh, Util won't down. hit anybody. Alarm Bot does see one back site. And gets taken down. Yes. They are going to smoke them off. The oh. Omen will go down, and the Breach will flash out for the Owls. Gets one on the other Breach. 2v3 now. It'll be a 1v2 now for the Lakers as a couple trades go down. Breach Utility, oh. Fade Utility. Yeah, that double initiator is really hard on the post plan to come back yeah. from. First round for the Owls, kind of expected as they had a full yeah. rifle buy against the against the Lakers kind of save or bonus round, I should say, from mm -hmm. the last round. It was a really well uh, played post plant situation oh, absolutely. on both teams. Um, I think there was not a ton that GV could do there, but. But they did get three. They did. Three's good damage. And now we'll see the first uh, full buy versus full buy of the game here on round number four. Looks like they might be leaving Spike to kind of get some intel, figure out where things are, and then go plant. Yeah, play a little bit of, of a yeah. default here. I mean, it's the first rifle round. They don't really we're necessarily on. know where everybody plays quite yet, so. Looks like we got three at least here towards C. Eye's not going to get on anybody. Last. Raze is going to get that orb. Yep. Got three on the mound here, so. Looks like they're just kind of cautiously playing, trying to see if they can bait out any utility from C, which they kind of did. The fatal dog in, try to get any intel she can. Kind of misses it though. First contact, Chamber will get one. And it is going to push him off of sight. Yeah, he'll fall off. He doesn't want to take any unnecessary damage or die. Oh, he seems to be lurking. Grabs oh, jeez. Lakers Omen here tried to push up and get the, the ultimate orb on A as he thought the rest of them were towards C, but. Owls yep. are going to rotate on over to A. They might as well. I mean, they got that lurk kill there. It's one controller down for the Lakers, but having two controllers, that's where it comes in handy. You lose one at the beginning of the round, you still got the next. So they will still have smokes. Fade Eye will see Pony. Owls raise out goes, all, goes out. See if she can get any. Probably not. Oh. We'll see one, but doesn't kill him. It's it very does fortunate. do serious damage, though. Yeah, but very fortunate for the Lakers that Mox wasn't able to get any here. Owls will get another one. It'll be a 4v3 now. Two pushing up. Ooh, get collided. And the Lakers go down that round as well. So it'll be 2-2 two, two as we move into round number five. They're fair doing some serious damage, getting, I believe, a 4K there. Yeah, having the double initiator on attack is, is really hard to stop. It's just you f keep pushing on. It's pretty much all you can you do. You do have a fade ult and a chamber ult, so I will be interested to see if either of those come out or if they are being held on to for later. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it kind of depends. looks like the Lakers have uh, a save round here, so yeah. we might see the chamber ult come out at the beginning of the round just because he can't buy anything else. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it does come out. He will pop it. The tour de force here. We'll see if the if Chamber can get any for the Lakers. Make it a little bit Looks easier like on the save round. Go for a quick teleport in. Fade Eye doesn't get anything. It looks like it might have missed. Yeah. They are gonna smoke. Getting right into the smoke, trying to push him out. Yeah. All five owls towards A here. Oh, there will be like three on the flank. The Lakers gets There's one the for pants. Absolutely. That's a rifle for him too. Yeah. That's big. Very huge. Pants will get a, a second and then ultimately get traded out. But then Dak will get a third. So it's a 4v2 for the Lakers on a save round here, which is huge. Could get a little thrifty action going on. Hopefully I didn't just cast your curse. <laughs> Looks like Owls are trying to commit. The Lakers a are here. playing it slow. Yeah. 
mean, they still kind of have to. Their buy is still pretty broken. Either no shields and, you know, a sheriff here for some of them. Or they a bulldog. Won't know that the Ooh. Killjoy's pushing up. She's not, oh. The crosshair placement isn't oh. there for Pony. Unfortunate for him. him. Now a 3v2. Spike isn't down yet. We do have KJ ult, so I'll be interested to see if they put the KJ ult left. down just to try and... Yeah, try to get the round here. Luffel hit his concussion. Now the spike goes down. Yeah. Spike planted. Miata Turret takes down the KJ turret. Ooh, one is going to get caught in some Beidou till. Yes. Miata will put some smokes up just to try to clear some space for his team. Fade ult comes Fade. out. 1v2 for Fade. And she gets one on a... Wow! Wow! And the spray control there is they crazy. Really Cast a curse. Yeah, I guess I did. Very, very, very great spray transfer there for the Owls fade. As the Owls will go up 4-2. Or 3-2, I believe. Sorry, it's hard to see. Looking right at the sky. Yes, Kind of all blends in. It uh, absolutely blends in. Yes, 3-2, sorry, for the Owls here as we go into round number six. GV yet to win a rifle round. We also see the Viper Pit and, oh, I forgot what Breach's ult is called. Fault Line. Fault Line. Yes. I'm interested to see if Fault Line is used to stop a plant. Because I do see a lot of Breach's use those. Pants will get one on the raise. That's their one duelist down for the Owls. It's huge pick. Fade's going to swap that out for a Phantom out for a Vandal, which I wonder is interesting. So you Pants did pull off of C, but There's this is where the Owls are going to go. They did put down Killjoy ult. Yes, they did. Like pants might get caught in it. They're gonna wait until it goes down. I think he's gonna. Yep. Now he's gonna leave. He still will get caught. Two. No. Okay. Sorry. Just the just the one for the Lakers gets caught here. Won't get killed though, as they the Owls will not push up on it. Probably smartly, as two other Lakers were there. There's the fault line. Yep. Here it comes. Double breach utility. Triple breach utility. Great retake value there on the breach utility. It's it's perfect for retakes on attack, on defense. I Tony should say. Tony is gonna grab one. There Hands you go. Also gonna clean up. Four four survive for the Lakers in their first rifle round win. And they do have showstopper. Yes, they do. And the omen alt. Yes. Useless alt in the game. Most useless alt in the game. If you can play it well, it's good. I only thing that thing is good for is picking up the spike. Yeah. It's really not. It's really not worth it. Anywhere else. I mean, most of the time you get some iron iron omen alt where they just alt in your spawn, you know right where they're at. So I mean it's it's information gathering and it's and it's spike grabbing. That's about it. Tony is gonna go for a satchel out. Pants yeah, Pants flash. saw the entire Owls team on that peak there, so he just chose to, to teleport out there very smartly. Spade dog won't see him, so they won't he won't get cleared. He's I don't think they'll get push him. Dak is gonna get. We'll get the. Dog. It gets all. Oh, Should have had two, but his teammate took it from him. Hey, it gets the kill. Gets the kill. Absolutely. They didn't know where Pants was. Fade Dog missed him, so they didn't clear that corner. Really unfortunate. Let's see what the Owls decide to do. Seems like they're both trying to play slow. Ah, uh, Pants yeah. does go down, but will Dak looks like she got a trade on the Killjoy. Yes, perfect. So it'll be a 3v or 4v2 here for the Lakers. Well, it looks like there's going to be some conflict in one the spawn. Enemy remaining. Yep, left gets Perfect. The omen. It'll be just the surviving breach for the Owls. We'll get Ooh, one get on Pony. Unfortunate. It does have fault. They both flash each other. <laughs> breach versus breach. What's going to happen? <laughs> this is the, this is the getting, utility spam. Getting a pincer. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Omen teleport just to try to bait him out a little bit. There we and go. And he will go down. So unfortunate for the Lakers to lose an extra one there. Could have had a could have had four surviving again, but we'll take the round. Take the round. And that takes the lead for the Lakers. Four to three. Lakers and Owls going toe to toe. Taking rounds, giving rounds. Absolutely. Close matches so far. Glad to see the Lakers finally getting a little more comfortable on these rifle rounds though. Starting to figure out what the Owls are doing. He's like the Owls are still trying to feel them out, figure out how they want to play things, which yes. is smart. It's still early game, still plenty of time to figure Absolutely. Stuff out. Absolutely. Still have five rounds left on the on the half here until we switch. They are going to go default. Pony and Peddler might meet. Oh, Luff gets a couple. Nice. There. Luff does get one on the, on the enemy the controller. Lead. It's huge. No smokes now for the rest of the round for the Owls. 
They are on a bit of a half buy here, the owls. Shadows traveling. It's like they broke the door. Just for rotation purposes yeah. there. Out comes Breach con con Concuss here. We'll hit Miata in Link. They, they will plant the B. Plant and getting the Killjoy, so no Killjoy attack for that. That's huge. Miata, you killed the Killjoy, man. You don't You don't have to kill his Util after you kill him. Many people off site, and they did not get plant down. One enemy remaining. Is the Soul Breach again? Flawless. There we go. There. Flawless round for the Lakers. Take it to 5 3. It was it was a save round for the Owls, a bit of a half buy. Yeah. But still, flawless is a flawless. No need to rebuy any weapons. It's a great round for the Lakers, no matter what. Looks like the Owls do have a couple alts up. Breach and Doman. Looks like we might see a bit more of a heavy B hold this round. Yeah, I mean, like I said at the beginning, it's it's much easier to just flex to B. I feel like leaving A or C open or, or less heavily guarded is just a bad decision on this map. Those are the, definitely the two most pushed sites for sure. They are leaving C fairly open. Yeah, they've had no Pony. contact C as of yet. There will be four hours oh, towards B and Pony will peek out while he's reloading. Boring Brody getting first blood for the round. Really unfortunate that he had to reload there while he was while he was out in the open. You are going to see, I believe it's Peddler, is kind of injured up into A. But we also see the Owls yeah. also injured up into B. They are going to get caught into the crossfire. There's nice for Pants. Big kill. Nice. Again, enemy raise goes down really early. No more duelist utility. Oh, jeez. Luff, keep your gun out. Unfortunate. Fade Eye comes out. Pants will get spotted by it. We'll spray and get, get one, one randomly through the Viper and get a Wall. Headshot there. Yes. A little crouch spray moment through the smoke, but it works. It works. Peddler is going to get Miata. But we'll but get traded instantly. It's huge. 2v2 now. It's going to Molly to keep the impression up. Looks like they might be going in for a B push. I mean, might as well. You've kind of like switched back and forth between the sites a little bit. I'm sure they figured they drew the Lakers kind of away from B, which was true. And they got a free plant because of it. Play one on site, one in Cubby. Ah, oh, Pants does go down. Unfortunate timing there. And Dak will miss the spray. Unfortunate round for the Lakers, but they are still up by one here. Yes. Pretty close first half. We're not going to see the curse of 9-3. No, we are not. No, we are not. For those of you that may not be aware, there is a joke among Valorant players that whichever team ha ends the half with nine win nine rounds, the other team that had three rounds, the three rounds will come back and do a reverse sweep. And the team that was up in the first half will lose. Yep, it is called the, the unfortunate 9-3 curse there. Won't happen to either team this game, though. We are going to see C left unguarded again. Yeah, C is not the easiest retake either, so... Looks like the Lakers are starting to figure about unfortunate there for Pony to go down really early. That's just going to get the first blow. We're going to see the Olden Blind go through. She will, the she boom will bot not flash. quite getting in anywhere, but Miata does take down Mox. Big picks for the Lakers. Four versus four. Oh. Luff got absolutely bailed out there by his teammate. Great hold from his teammate as he was popping his utility. Great and team Lakers player. do have Spike. Yes. Talk about trusting your teammate there, though. If he was in there by himself, he's dead. Mm -hmm. So I always got to be good with your comms. Absolutely. Trust your teammates, too. Owls don't have Spike. Looks like they might just try to lurk around, see if they can get well, a pick somewhere. They do have that Omen ult. They do. So they might go to Spike. Yep. Go to site, grab bomb. That'll be what it's used for. It looks like they're going to walk up C, use the Omen ult, and then try to plant C here if none of the Lakers are there, which they aren't. There. Does grab the spike. Pants and does towards know C. that they're going for C. They did destroy his trip. 30 yep. seconds left. See the headhunter out. Cover going out. See what the Lakers can do on this 2v2 retake. Fairly common plant spot going right for the corner. Might try and hold through spawn. See if somebody plays mound here. Doesn't look like it. Killjoy might go back no, there to yeah, play for I the think, yeah, post plant. Killjoy's home. Which is a really great post plant spot if you're playing as a Killjoy. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Put him right in the corner. 
Oh man, Pants does make the footstep, so Omen will know that he's there, but will instantly die from Dak as he clears the corner. Great now, clear. Now it's all up to the post plant. Yep. She's got the angle on it too. Retap has that dirty little head glitch. But they do know where she's playing. I think there is another one on there. Not going to hit him though. Uh, and will go down. Pants gets the nice one tap. Perfect, perfect. If she had another Molly on there, probably could have stalled for time. But yeah, pops the first one early. Lakers. Absolutely great round. So they will go up 6 4 here. Pants will buy the op. See what he can get done. Chamber and Jet are probably some of the best characters to play an op in this game. So Yeah. It's funny he'll buy an op, but he yeah. has a free op. Yes, he does. In in his ultimate ability. Yeah. So interesting, interesting choice. Maybe he just wants to, you know, op two rounds in a row, possibly, if he gets killed here. But I don't know, man. I don't know that I spend that 4,700 credits if I have an alt up. Exactly. But on the outside, we do see the Fade and the Breach. I wonder if we'll see them played in tandem. Yeah. Fade, I'm not going to quite get any of the Lakers. Nice Whoa. shot from Pants. That is first blood. Sentinel for the Owls will go down. And Raze for the Owls is way pushed up. Bree <laughs> B just comes <laughs> flying. With Absolutely flying. Gets up with a stinger, and now Grand Valley has lost the op. Yeah. And Dak will get the one on C, the one lurk. That's big. That is absolutely big. Make sure that C is still locked down as Spike is down B, it appears. I believe it's B. I think Lotus is the hardest to tell sound-wise where the Spike is. Yeah, just because the <laughs> amount of slice that we have here. I believe it is planted B. Yeah. Pony gets the first. 4v2 retake one, now two. for the Lakers. <laughs> Trevor on Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Raise all. It does get one. Nice. There we go. Again, trusting your teammates. Trusting your teammates absolutely. To stick that stick that uh that defuse there. Let your teammate get the kill. Great round for the Lakers. 7-4. Was a good ult on the Owl side for the Rays. I feel like yes. showstoppers are very hard to get right. If you can if you can do it, you can do it. Yep. But I feel like a lot of times it just misses. So great ult. Yep. And G V does have four ults to work with going yes, into they do. the last round of the half. So I'll be very interested to see with the Viper Pit will come out. I believe Dax had that Viper Pit for a while now. He has. He has not used it yet this half. But we do have two Initiator alts on the Fade and the Breach on we the Owl side. We are the Tour de Force come out. Yes, we are. It'll be interesting to see if they use those two alts in tandem. And Viper Pit's going to come out to cut if, off If the I'm the Owls, uh, I would maybe take both those alts to B and just isolate the Viper and kill her. I mean, you have two perfect alts for, for taking out a Viper alt there, but... Yada's kind of stuck right now. He absolutely is. He doesn't have a teleport. He does well, have he his ult. He did get rid of the turret. One. Luff's going crazy. Luff with a nice three-piece there. And it'll take the Lakers 8-4 at half. It was a nice clean half on Switching both teams. Size. It was. And now we're going to see that Killjoy maybe play a little bit more advantageously. Mm -hmm. Because Killjoy is really great on defense. Attack. Yes. If you Not can so play much. a good Killjoy on attack, <laughs> you can. More but power to you. It's a lot harder to do. Absolutely. So we'll see an attack half now from the Lakers. Interesting to see what the setups will be here as we do have the double controller. Great way to take a lot of space on the map with two controllers. Absolutely. So we'll see what the Lakers decide to do on pistol here. If they'll just full push aside, if maybe they'll play a little bit of a default. Looks like they are inclined towards B. I'll be interested to see if Dax got any uh, Molly lineups. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Let's see if Pony just decides to double satchel in straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we might see that. Yeah, I think he's going to. I want to see the raise tech. Come on, do it. Uh, Not quite yet. Fade Eye doesn't get any. Doesn't get destroyed immediately. Pants and nice. Tony heading first picks. Early two picks for the Lakers here Strong. as they will push up B. Oh, no, they're going to hit the door and rotate to C. Fast rotate to C. And it looks like they might get it for free. Absolutely, because the Owls kind of rotated early there. Killjoy well, there will is come back. The Molly and the alarm bot. Is the boom bot going down? Planting more... Backside. Yes, 4v3 post plant situation for our Lakers right here now. Like this is an interesting plant spot, not one I go for typically. Ah, Great pick. It's probably safest though. Yeah. On this site for sure. Ooh. Oh wow, nice right click there from retap for the Owls. 2v2 now for the Lakers. Oh. Nice as Pants Can gets one on the Killjoy. Luff is flashed. Their enemy breach is about 10 HP here. And he does have to defuse the spike, so Lakers have the obvious advantage. All right, he will get the first on pants. He does have the stun. Taps the spike. Oh, Season. all right. They replace the <laughs> ring around the Rosie. 1v1 <laughs> with the breach again. Breach. Oh, jeez. 
Won't have time though, so the Lakers will get the round as the bomb cannot be defused. Just takes it. Great round for the Lakers. It might not have been incredibly clean, but they won the round. Hey, if it gets the job done, gets the job done. Five Absolutely. Pistol is always a very messy round. Yes, definitely. Definitely. So nice to see the Lakers win that. Go up an extra round advantage. You're up five now. And it will be a, uh, a buy-up round here now for the Lakers after winning the Pistol. So we'll see what we can get done. Looks like we might be seeing the Lakers go for a C push, maybe. Yeah, I mean, in my in my opinion, I feel like A is is the best. It's more open, so you you got the longer range guns on those pistols against the pistols. You want to go on a on a really nice open site. Looks like the Lakers will push C though. Fade Eye does not seem to get anybody. No, the Lakers will be three or four, yeah, four here towards C, as two owls are now on C site as the fade rotates over from B. See, that's that quick flex we were talking about, right? Yeah. Now there's three owls towards C, as they know they're definitely coming there. But the Lakers will start to maybe pull off just a little bit. Do you see the chamber in spawn maybe catching anybody rotating through their spawn for a flank? Doesn't look like that's going to happen, though. No. There is still one owl sitting A. Right oh. there. Well, it'll be two owls sitting A. That's yeah, they ready. pulled the rotate. But three Laker, right four there. Lakers are still towards C here. Breach utility will start to come out, and they guys. will hit. Breach flash comes out. Both of the owls here are waterfall. Ooh. One goes down. One nave, pony. A little bit of a spray through the smoke, and, and we'll gets get one. one. Gets a headshot in that. That is oh, spiked wow. down. Unlucky timing as the Omen Smoke fell CT and got Pony killed. One tapped in the face. Unfortunate timing on that smoke. This is an interesting pull from Yad. I feel like it might be a little screwed. Oh, but he gets two. Unexpected though, right? You don't yeah. really see people playing there. Gets Ooh. two from Yad. A nice little round from Yad sitting on top of that double box there. You very, can play that spot. Go for it, dude. Yeah, it's very unexpected. Very unexpected. All right, another round for the Lakers as they won their buy-up round. So now they will bonus, so they'll be at a bit of a disadvantage. But we do have a couple Guardians for the Lakers, too, so not much of a disadvantage at that. And we'll see what they decide to do. I feel like the Guardians are one of those guns you ca you know them to be really good at or really bad at. Absolutely. I'm Personally, I can't play a Guardian. <laughs> the Guardian is a, is a really it's a, it's a clean gun to use, though. It feels really nice and crisp when you get a Guardian headshot. If you can get a kill with it, it's great. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like we'll be seeing three Lakers going B. Oh nope, here you go, A. If we can, if we can get the Lakers to win this bonus round here, that's actually enormous for the momentum of this first game. I mean, if we, if they win that bonus, I mean, it's pretty much wrapped up with a bow on top. Lakers were maybe trying to make some noise, B, but they are swapping. Oh, Mox man. is getting two right off the bat, Five taking down, down hands and love, and also gets Dax. So he's got a nice 3K. Unfortunate for There's Lakers. The tech. Spike is down. He gets four. Oh, uh, but ace denied for Mox there. Can't say I'm too upset about it, though. No ace for you against our Lakers. Uh, and we'll go down. So the Owls do lose one. Hurts their economy just a tad, but they will be able to full buy again. And now the Lakers will have their rifles as well. So it'll be the first full rifle round of the half. See what the Lakers can do on attack with full rifles. We do see the showstopper already up for the Owls. Yeah, I mean, Ray's got four there that yeah. round, so. It was great 4K. Oh, well, I mean, great in air quotes, right? I mean, the I Lakers. Mean, I both teams. The Lakers were on a half by. They the were. The Lakers were on a half by. It makes it a little less, little less cool. <laughs> You see, yeah, I mean, you see somebody getting an ace against a team who's saving. It's not as it's not as nice against a team who has full buy, right? Yeah. It's like it's gonna be Ooh. a little bit of a. There's a some push up on a C by yeah. Mox. Yeah. We'll see what the timing Dak gets here. Timing, 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 oh, timing, really? timing. <laughs> they're just wow. Like, and oh, Dak, unfortunate. If I was Dak there. I mean, I, I, I'm probably <laughs> jump out of my seat. I'm so scared. I thought nobody was there, and all of a sudden I get shot from behind. I feel like Valorant's a horror game sometimes. Oh, absolutely. The number of times I have screamed because I've gotten killed somewhere yeah. I did not expect. Yes, absolutely. See, the Lakers are looking towards a B hit here. Well, they are going to open up the door. Oh, geez. And the showstopper is going to get one. <laughs> Unfortunate. But, but we'll we get traded out. 3v4 now for the Lakers. This pants is still towards A. So some of the owls might think that this could still be an A hit here with the pants lurk. Gets one. Gets two. 
Huge, huge, That's huge, huge, huge. Momentum. Yes. And it's going to damage Dora a little bit. 30 seconds left. But the Lakers with the spike are going to go oh. towards B. Faking out the door. So the owls are split here. Last one's towards A with it. Pants. We'll we see if it. Pants knows that the breach is there. Looks like he's going to go up heaven here. He does get concussed, I believe. Not sure how right much there. util that enemy breach there has for the owls. See how much comes out. Oh, it seems like we might. Oh, man. Gets Pants. Decides to clear the corner very smartly. Me had a odd like three HP in a dream. <laughs> Does get First flash. Breach flash. Yep. Blinding. It'll be a breach versus breach battle again for the eighth time. Oh, and Luff will win this time. Luff is the better breach right now. Absolutely. And the Lakers go up 11-5. So just two more quick little rounds for the Lakers here, and it'll be all wrapped up for this first game. Yep. And your first, uh, your first premier GVSU best right of three there. of the season here. Right yeah. there. Yes. Right there. Right there. All right, we'll see if Lakers can get match point here. We do see the Tour de, the tour de Force. It does not look like it's going to come out yet. Yeah, I mean, right it's not necessarily worth it as much on attack, right? It's harder yeah. to op on attack for sure. Flash out. So we're going to see the concuss. Yeah, it's like an aggressive Viper Wall for the Owls. Won't really push up or, or use it at all, though. See right what there. the Lakers decide to do here. They are partial towards A here with one lurking up B main. Can't tell who's lurking. Can't see either, but he's just sitting there seeing I if he can get any flanks. I think it's Viper. He's deaf. They might try to go towards B. So like I said, they have one of their agents playing a Oof, little bit. And here door. we go. All right, it'll be a fast A to B hit Pony. here. Tony getting first blood of the round. Tons of breach utils coming out here. And Luff unfortunately takes a ton of damage to that raise grenade. But it is a 5v3 for the Lakers. It is. Well, Spike is going to go down onto B. Yada will get another one. So they're trying to clear out A. That will be interesting for the Owls. Both are in the same spot. Dak gets another. Dak. And gets Perfect. A Match point for the Lakers. It was really close in the beginning, but they've absolutely Match just kind of ran away with this one. Seems as soon as they figured out exactly how the Owls played. Yep. Got it locked up. Yep. Great to see from your Grand Valley State Lakers here. We always love quick endings to these games. <laughs> Especially because going into map two, having a great win on the first oh, map yeah. oh, makes yeah. everything so much better. So, you know, you have some security. You have some wiggle room. But I'm sure look at it as well. Not only that, but a good mental energy coming off exactly. of a win going Mental's into the second game. huge in this game. Oh, without a doubt. The mental and momentum. Once again, that aggressive Viper wall from the Owls will come really to no avail. I think that was from Grand Valley. Oh, oh we do see a showstopper. Off your feet. All right, and here comes the breach hall. Yep. Will they push off of it? Yes, they will. I'm laid off. Pants being born. Forward. Gets another one. Two for Pants here so far. 4v3 for the Lakers now as the Owls start their retake. Locks and Pets are taking two off. Last remaining for the Owls. Oh, what a wall bang headshot there. Dang. I'd be a little annoyed if that was me. Oh, I would too, but she doesn't know that the breach is going towards C with the bomb. I think she knows that he's definitely not on A anymore. She's still towards A. She w might she not even be able to It looks to like cheer. she was rotating for a moment. All right, now, now, now the owls definitely know that that spike went C. See, maybe she goes waterfall here. Yep. And it looks like Luff is playing mound and playing for. S we'll play for flank, but I mean, it's easy to just come right back up, right back up to the spike there. I mean, playing playing mound back here is just such an advantageous spot. Especially because he did appear to plant in the corner. Nice, oh, great. And that is GV's game. Luff closes it out, 13-5 for the Lakers. Really, really easy there, first game. Great first game for the Lakers. What do you think was the uh, the deciding factor there, though? What made them run really run away with it? Um, 
I think figuring out how, especially the Killjoy play and how they mm-hmm. do their flanks and how they flank set up, definitely made things a lot easier for the Lakers for to sure. go ahead and take that math. Yep. Um, because as soon as you start to figure out how the other team plays, you're getting into that other team's head. Yep. And Valorant is all about mental. If you have a bad mental going into it, you're not going to play as well as you do if you have a good mental. Absolutely. And not only that, I mean, once you kind of figure out how the enemy team plays, you can start counter them, mm-hmm. right? The other thing was the utility usage from the Lakers was just better. Yeah. Um, especially, especially on their attack half. I mean, you had the you had the Owls attacking first half. Um, only got the the four yeah, rounds, four. I believe. Um, and just the utility usage just wasn't there. Like once we got to like the second or third rifle mm-hmm. round there, and GV's streak started kind of going, their utility usage was just better. Um, we especially saw quick with utility usage. Yeah. Very utility heavy character. Yes. Agents, if you can't play that utility well, you have to trust that your gun skills are just better than the enemy team, and they weren't today. Yeah, I mean, you had two initiators for the Owls, um, and if we saw on the scoreboard there really quick, the, the, the breach for the Owls was, was at, I believe, the bottom of the leaderboard. Um, so the utility usage just wasn't great there. Let's check it out let's real see. quick. Yeah, so yeah. the enemy breach there, uh, 6 and 13. Did get the 8 assists. So. It does have 8 assists, yeah, but, I mean, you got to be able to play off your utility as well too, right? So it's just the utility usage, not as good as the Lakers. No. Uh, looking forward to seeing what map two is, though, um, and see see what agents we're gonna we're gonna play next. Yep.
All right. All Welcome right. back, everybody. Welcome back for map number two. And yes. hopefully, last map. Hopefully. Hopefully we can get the sweep, just like we did uh, last week with the Game Changers. Uh, we will see what the map is here very shortly, but I do hear that they are in lobby. Absolutely. So within the next two minutes, hopefully we'll be in the game. We'll see. You know, let's take five minutes after the game, go to the bathroom, get a drink of water, stretch yeah. a little bit. It's good for the mental, you know. Um, so we will see. Uh, what the map will be will be a different map, obviously, but we'll see what the agent cops are going to be this time. Um, it was double initiator from the owls, and then it was double controller. Yep, right for now? the yeah. Lakers. So we'll see if it's similar this time around, um, or if it's going to be different. I do hear the map is ascent. I feel like ascent is definitely a much more heavy duelist map. Yes. So I'll be interested to see if we see a double duelist. I'd like to see Ko too. Ko's one. Ko's of got some great lineups on this map. So I'll be interested. So does Sova. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll be very interested to see. Like I said, double initiator, double controller, double duelist. Um, I feel we'll like if you're to see double duelist on any map, it's gonna be a sin. Yeah, possibly. Um, I'd also like to see what the Sentinel choice is going to be here. If it's going to yes. be a Killjoy or a Cypher. Those are the two big ones for Ascent. Um, Ascent's a very defense-sided map most mm -hmm. of the time. Uh, both those Ancients are, are really great. Uh, two of the best Sentinels in the game for sure. I wonder if we'll see a Sage. Um, Ascent has a lot of great spots for Sage walls. Yep. Especially some good Grim walls. So I wonder if we'll <laughs> see some of those come out. Just the you know your regular standard one in the in the windows of B main <laughs> yep. up there. Yeah. The second the second you're on defense and you hear a Sage wall from the attacking side, you look up. Yeah. You look up. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm, I'm very interested. I would like to see a Cypher get played. I feel like Cypher is a very strong play here. Yes. Um, and he's been really good lately with the patch notes. They After that buff, uh, his trips don't break anymore exactly. if you don't break them. So when you somebody can get completely screwed over if you no, don't get rid of No, legitimately. Trip. If you get tripped by his tripwire, it's just going to keep concussing you until you shoot it. I so. just I just see Sage, uh, not Sage, uh, Ray Satchel's in, still yes. getting concussed. The crazy part is even if, so like if it trips an agent mm -hmm. and the teammate kills him and another like enemy walks to the same trip, it, still it trips goes. him again. Yeah. It doesn't matter if somebody's already been caught in it. You can catch an infinite uh, number of agents. It's, it's like where you have so to be broken. really good about playing with your own team or yes. watching for those trips. Yes. Especially walking as you peek up into doorways mm -hmm. so we can get rid of them before you even have to deal with it. Yeah, I think it's. I think he's broken right now. I really do. I really do. I mean, having having one piece of utility that could take out an entire team, essentially. I mean, if they're just... Imagine if all f like five people push in at the same exact time, all are getting concussed. Boom. What are you gonna do? You can't do anything. You're not gonna about be able to do it. anything. So like that's why Cipher is just a great agent. I mean, you know, nobody wants to push a site that a Cipher is at or a Killjoy is at. Nope. You just don't do it oh. unless you have a KO. So I'll be very interested to see if maybe we see a KJ and a Cipher play here. A double Sentinel would be interesting. That that's huge. Put one on one site, other on the other. Hold it down. Yes. You have the rest playing through mid. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens. Ascent is one of my favorite personal maps, so. We'll see what we got. We'll see what we got going on here. I'm very excited to see. Agent comps coming here soon. Yeah. Very soon. We'll see what goes on. <laughs> have you met any of the the premier squad? Yes, I have. I uh, I they always come in a lot of my shifts. Nice. <laughs> premier squad's great. Everybody's very nice. Uh, Luff, um, I think is the only one at least I know of that was here when I was a freshman. Um, yeah. He was radiant. He was radiant back then. I'm not sure exactly what his rank is right now, but he was radiant back in the day. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool to see him still playing. He was a Valorant game leader. Yes. Last year? Yep. Yes, he was. was. Great dude. All great guys. Yeah. Everybody on every team here at, at GV are just, just good people. Just good people. Oh, it's just a lot of fun to like play in the legs and like everybody kind of comes around and see what yes. you're all doing. It's Especially great. the energy. Like yes. if you're in there, if you manage to keep your computer once uh, competitive time comes at 8 p.m., uh, it's really it's really fun. You can be in there sometimes if it's as long as it's not Valorant. You can't have Valorant streams up in the same space that the players are playing in for yeah. for obvious reasons. But with Rocket League streams, you got we have a watch party going on in there. People are playing games. Rocket League's up. Watch the stream at the same time. Super great environment. Also, I've, always a lot of fun. We see a lot of Smash players come yep. in. Big fun groups. So absolutely. And everybody's always there. The eboard's always there. Yeah. Victoria's always there. Cam's always there. Yeah. Riley's <laughs> always there most of the time. When he when he's able to. Exactly. When he's able to with his schedule. Kiddo. Shout out Riley. Yeah. If you're watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is the esports director here at GVSU. Yes, we love Riley. So if you're a high school student Come to playing GVSU. Valorant, yes, hit us up. Hit us up. His contact info is online. Other competitive games. We have a lot of games that have teams. I believe we have six yes. comp teams right now. Yes. 
great great time up and coming esports program here at yes. grand valley hopefully we get scholarships here soon i think we're looking in the next year or two we're gonna be getting scholarships for yes. esports don't Big hold time. me to that because that might change <laughs> but if you're a, if you're a junior or a senior in high school and you're on the esports team there check it out check it out it's a great spot here I mean, my personal draw to, to GVSU is uh, just the campus. Campus is beautiful. feels like its own little city. It's, it's a great spot. Also, just very, like, it feels super connected compared to other campuses. feels so big that you just Absolutely. can't find your way around. Mm -hmm. Whereas with GV, once you know, like, a little bit about the campus, you're able to figure it out, and it's a big community. Absolutely. I mean, it's pretty much just a straight line yeah. all the way. Pretty hard to get lost unless you're in Mackinac. Mackinac's a, <laughs> Mackinac's a trip. Absolutely. So. And... We got just about 15 more seconds here until we're going to get in the lobby. Like I said, the map is a scent, uh, so we'll see what the agent selects here are. See if the Lakers can get it done with a quick 2-0 sweep, or if we will go to a map three. Be interesting to see. Here we go. I see. Like we oh, said, we are going to see three ah. already locked in for GV. We're going to see a Killjoy, a Sova, an Omen, and a KO. We do see the KO come yep, out. Absolutely. We do see the double initiator. Might get a KO for the Owls here, too, as it looks like they are hovering him. And there is the Jet. Jet's a very strong pick on Ascent, I feel. Absolutely. That's my, like I said, Jet's, Jet's, my, Jet's my pick. I love Ascent. Playing Jet on Ascent's great. Um, we'll see. L looks like Luff is going to switch from a, an initiator role to the duelist role. And Pony is going to switch from the duelist to the initiator. It will be a double KO. And Dax switching from controller to initiator. They're yes. all switching roles. Yep. Very, I mean, Game Changers kind of did the same thing last week, too. They had, they just switched roles based on the game. Usually you see, what, you know, people kind of stay with the with the same role that they're used to playing. Luff will play the Jet. It looks like we will be getting mirror comps. Possibly. Possibly. If we see Yaws locking that Sova. Yeah, he's hovering him right now. There it is. All it right. It's a mirror comp. Absolutely same comp from both teams. And, and we're going to get in the game. And GV is going to be descending first. Or there defending first, not yes. descending. Yes, huge. Defense first is, is always really key. Set the momentum. Set the pace. Get some, you know, get an advantage in the round differential, right? Like, yeah. if you can go up 8-4, 10-2, like, on defense, you're pretty much set. You can count on getting three rounds on attack, right? So... We'll see what the Lakers can get done. Most people switched switch roles here, so we'll see what goes on. Very interested to see how the KO plays because we have not seen them yet today. No. KO is a lot of fun right now. He feels very strong. He does. You can get those knives to those knives to line up right, then you can get that flash, and it's just done. Got about 15 seconds here till round start. I'd really, really, really love to see just a fast, aggressive hit from the Owls. See how fast and aggressive uh, the defense can be right back. Yes. Just a quick round. Those long, drawn-out pistol rounds are so just, like, they get your adrenaline up, right? Mm -hmm. So get your heart beating just a little bit. Looks like it's going to be a B hit first round, which is kind of really crazy. Quick. Pony's not going to get anybody with that knife. No, because the whole Owls team is, is already in the B. Jet will dash up lane, but get stopped by some Killjoy utility. The whole team's already out. Five They're already up. Oh. Man. Owls are getting first and second blood, getting yeah. both players on B. So it is going to be a retake for GV. They are down two players. B site's already completely clear for GV. Like, it's, it's gone. The Owls cleared them out. Looks like the, the Owls did a little bit of some role switching here, too, because the retap, who's on Jet this time, played Killjoy last time. And they have a Killjoy again in this comp. So I, I'm not sure what's going on with these roll switches. Lots but, doing some jumping. But if it works, it works. GV's getting lots of kills going down Pony here. and Luff getting Bandy. some, but Warren Brody Warren and Mox getting uh, more. But it is going to go to the Owls. Warren Brody's going to get that last yes. pick of the round. Unfortunate. Really, again, it was a fast, aggressive hit. Just like I said I wanted, but we wanted the GV, the GV win on that round. Just unfortunate. GV definitely did not expect that fast, aggressive push. I no. believe they, they were expecting that slow push that they had on Lotus. Yeah. They're like, Lotus, you have to be a lot slower because there is the very different maps. Yeah, not I mean, maps. The, the, Lotus spots. is just so much more, like, just larger, right? Yeah. Like, you, you do have to kind of play slower. So um, we are going to see a split push, maybe. It was interesting to see. I mean, I guess you have the KO, so it doesn't really matter. But seeing a team go B with the Killjoy there, not something you typically see. That's the that's the power of the KO. I mean, it doesn't really matter what Sentinel utility they have, as long as you can get the get the suppress. 
you can go wherever you want. Looks like GV's leaving B fairly open. Left That's the first, first pick. Huge, 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 huge on a save round here for GV. See both of the KOs. Kind of battling over in main. Yeah, it'll be an initiator Hot battle again. Won't see anybody there for the Owls as they both push back up into the site. It's like Owls are starting to push up. We're They're doing a default. It's a little 3-2 split. Well, it's not 3-1. Let's see what we can get going on. It looks like they might be committing to B. Yeah, just very slowly here. We are going to see the Silver Dart. I don't believe it gets anybody. Very, very slow hit here. All the owls again are together over on B, and it looks like they're going to execute into B main. All right, here comes the owls KO knife. They'll probably aggress off of that as they do suppress they the killjoy. She does flash. get flashed. Dead okay. boathouse. Good trade there, though, from Dak. Both the Sovas getting picks there. Yes, 4v3 now for the Lakers. And owls are again on site. Getting the plant down. The Jet did buy a Vandal there for the owls, so if they can somehow manage to get that down, it's huge for the huge for the Lakers here, if they can manage to grab that Vandal. They won't know that all three are playing site. But the Owls are going to be able to tell that they're not pushing them to site, they're watching the flank. Yeah. Love is trying to shoot oh, the Fox, but does get taken timing. down by the map. Fox getting one with that Guardian, and now it is a 3v1, and Dak is not in a good position. He does have a Spectre, though, and retap there is very low. Uh, and they'll nope. just swing out with the more health kill joy there and get it. Well, they had the three swing out, so if one of them didn't get them, the other one Unless would. they all collided. <laughs> Very rare thing to happen, though, for sure. I've seen it happen. It's 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 interesting. It's it's not a it's not a terrible round for GB though. As they did get two, they got the first blood as well. So I thought maybe that would turn the tide of the round just a little bit, but the owls did squeak out with it. Makes it two zero. Did make did hurt the owls economy though. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, to just see. a tad. They look. They won't have a complete full rifle buy. But GV will. So we'll see. Essentially the first rifle round here for both teams. Looks like we have we're going through B main as well as a you mid to B. They yes. And Killjoy is will gonna get, get taken pants. out so quickly there. That's really unfortunate for all of that utility that was there holding B psych. I mean, the Owls are just getting B for free. Right here. Like, this, every round. This, I feel, it is a very interesting strategy Deploy to play retake on B. Spike when planted. right now, this is not their strongest suit to play retake on B. So, very surprised. Doc's not going to find anybody with that drone. It is interesting, though. You saw you saw the, the Lakers uh, Killjoy playing market there. Yeah. Instead of playing on site. I mean, to me, that just seems like a quick, easy way to lose your life, and that's exactly what happened. And then all of your defensive utility on B sites just just scrap. Solar dart from the Owls gets a lot. Maybe a five three. And five two now for the Lakers as they just have a great hold. Oh, it gets two, but will get traded. It does hurt their economy just a little bit, though. I mean, that's sort of a win, but just unfortunate there for the Lakers that you know their their huge defensive player there and the Killjoy just went down so fast. I wonder if we'll see a switch up in how the Lakers play, see if they're going to try and play a little more aggressive on that defense. Yeah, we'll see if they can try to get any early picks, set the tone of the round. They will be on a, a very big save round now with just a bunch of sheriffs and probably half shields here. We are going to see what looks to be a 3-2 split for the Owls, and it looks like GV is definitely going to be holding a lot more aggressively on yeah. B. Do we have a 3 on B, 2 on A? I wonder, too, if uh, Lotus might have been the Lakers pick here and maybe Ascent was the Owls pick. Would not surprise me. Yeah. Seems like the Owls are just really just really comfortable here on Ascent. Finding getting two early pick. picks. Peddler is going to push into mid. Here's we'll see two. two. Gets, Gets one. one. You get the other. One. Oh, Tags wow. Him. And they know, yeah. <laughs> A little bit of a uh, little bit of some missed shots there from Peddler, but it's all right. His teammate, his teammate, I feel like Peddler's probably for laughing him. back there. Right now. Probably. Oh, geez, everybody in this live stream just saw me whiff all those shots. Hilarious. He got the one clean head tap. Yes, he did, but it was through the wall, so unfortunately yeah. didn't get the kill. But oh man, the Owls will go up 4-0 now on the Lakers. We aren't gonna see it in the 9-3 case, but we do see the uh, the cable. It's locked down. Is that what it is? No, it's, uh, I forget the name of that one, too. Lockdown's Killjoy. That's right. Yep. 
The old ability names are so confusing. Are gonna hear some shots fired. Yeah, they're gonna just try to fast hit B here again. I mean, it's been working for him every single time. Don't know why you quit. Headler sitting in Jet mid. dashes out for the Owls here. There's three towards B though for the Lakers and Hands two and early left. kills. Hands and left. Huge, 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 huge for the Lakers. To get those first two early picks. And Luff well, swings into more. B main. But does get traded immediately by Morning Brody. That's very aggressive. Very aggressive. And GV is, not, is up not only by players, but they are also up on HP-wise. Yes. So I had a great advantage. Looks like Owls are going to go into mid, and that knife might get... Oh, doesn't get anybody. But the enemy knife is... Yes, like Pony's knife will get both of them. So they know they're both going towards tree here. KO Grenade might do a little bit of damage, possibly. No, it seems like they backed away as soon as it Just came out. Just in time. But they so know they're both tree. Yeah, it's so the one unfortunate part about that KO Grenade is so loud. Oh, jeez. Unfortunate remaining. timing there. But we'll get instantly three. traded. All right, omen v. Left. omen. Who's the better omen? Well, so we'll see. Oh, Miata gets a lot of damage done on Peddler there. This is just a like a little, oh, oh wow what a nice play from Miata there that was great that great teleport I was, totally I was trying to figure out where he was teleporting to totally big brain moment for sure <laughs> part ten yes that's crazy take your shoes oh no looks like we might see a tech pause here oh uh, that's what it was I was like part ten what maybe we've got the countdown still going down though so Probably okay there. To get us there it is all right. We will be paused now. Oh! Pony DC'd. Okay. Well, that's why they need the technical pause. Yes. All right. So we saw the Lakers just win their first round. What's going to be key going forward here for the rest of the game? I don't know. Honestly, I feel like if they can keep this momentum, but the annoying thing is that this technical pause is killing their momentum, especially if mm -hmm. you're up rounds or you just get a pit round against a team that's already got four rounds on mm -hmm. you. You want to keep pushing. You want to keep bringing that positive momentum, but... It stopped. So yep. whether it be an enemy calling a timeout in like an actual collegiate match, or tech pause for whatever reason, or something happens and that momentum gets stopped, yep. you're kind of lost, and it screws you over. So I will be very interested to see how Lakers come back with this tech pause, see if it'll cancel out any of their momentum, or if they'll just keep pushing on. I think the biggest thing here for the rest of this half for the Lakers to try to either even it up at least, or or get an advantage is for our Killjoy to not be hit by KO's knife. If the Killjoy cannot get suppressed, like if she can survive that suppress, the Killjoy utility, that defensive utility stays up, makes it astronomically more difficult for the Owls to push onto the B site, yes. which is where they've been heavily leaning they the feel, whole game. It looks like they're very comfortable on B. We have not yes. seen them push A at all. No, just on the rotates, right? Mm -hmm. So... Looks like Pony is still not back quite yet. Yeah. Not sure exactly what's going on there. Did look like his PC may have crashed. Oh, we got the R from Luff there. So it looks like Pony's back. Oh, and we will get into the round. Map. It is a small map, though, so. <laughs> 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 All right, Miata, you're canceled. <laughs> wow, Miata. You are canceled. Dub <laughs> double canceled. <laughs> It's like they can hear us. Now now we've got tech issues from the owls. Oh, no. What is going on here? Seems like both teams are falling apart. Seems. Yeah, I don't know what's going on uh, right now. We've got tech issues here from both teams. What's your favorite spray of the game? Oh, man. Uh, I, I Since I'm a jet player, I've got a, uh, I've got a spray of, of jet doing, like, the crying, laughing, whatever. Mm -hmm. Love that. I also have a like a, a crime scene body spray out of cipher oh, yeah. that I like to use after I clutch around. That's probably that's probably my favorite. I've got one. I've got the Sky Dog Fade Cat because it's mm -hmm. actually a cat. It's not a dog. It's yeah. really funny. Um, it makes sense because like all of her utility looks like it's like yarn balls. Mm -hmm. But that's the one where they're doing like tug of war. Nice, nice. We've got some great sprays in Valorant. They've been, there's been really good ones lately. Of oh, yeah. like a lot of the, like the Twitch uh, Prime. Yep. The those skins, especially with like the nah, the yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. That is one benefit for us doing these streams here on YouTube is you won't hear us, you won't hear us crying for for Twitch Prime subs. Nope. <laughs> we are on the the superior YouTube over here. Hundred percent. 
Hopefully we can figure out what's going on with the Owls tech I pause now. What is, I wonder what's going on. I don't know, because the Lakers are set now, and the Lakers were the one that called the, t the tech pause. So I'm not sure. Not not sure at all. We do see three ults on both sides. No, four ults on the Owls side, three ults on the GD side. So just to see if any of those come out. Yeah. This is definitely a momentum killer, though. This is when you're, you know, you're warm, you're feeling good, your muscles are loose, and then the second you take a couple rounds and and, and you uh, don't have anything going on, or you have these these timeouts, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, you start to get cold, your muscles tense up, you're just not as loose anymore. So we'll see what goes on. Hopefully, we can get this figured out here soon. Especially with our GD players playing in the LEC, it always gets cold in the LEC. Oh, it's freezing in there. We always have to keep it really cold with the PCs, keep them from overheating. Yeah, well, that's why you would think it might be a little bit warmer in there because you have 30, 30 nice Alienware PCs in there for the for free heat, pretty much. So I guess that's why we see a lot of the GV players running around, oh, yeah. playing, keeping themselves warm. Oh, yeah. Don't know exactly what's going on. I don't think the player disconnected. I think maybe there's, like, frozen issue. Yeah, maybe he just had to go to the bathroom. I was going to say, just, the owls are all, like, completely stationary. So we've been seeing yeah. Jamie just running around. Just trying to keep their, like we said, keep their muscles loose, move their arms a little bit. I don't know what's going on here. Hopefully it gets figured out here pretty soon. Heads that just randomly got blocked. <laughs> trying to fix it still. Bro, we don't, we don't, we don't have a, uh, an extra headset over there. <laughs> or earbuds? Yes, yeah, something. I've played ear. I played Valorant with earbuds. I feel like it's so much scarier than with like a headset because it's like all concentrated. So if you yes. get like killed from behind and it's not somewhere you would expect, jump so much more. I don't know how people can play with earbuds. I don't either. I think they're uncomfortable, in my opinion. So I know a lot of pros will do the in ears and then they'll have a headset with yeah. like noise. Um, yes. I don't know how. I, I think, feel like I just could not do it. I think you have like the game audio coming from the headset, and then I think you have like. Um, Either comms or you know coach comms coming from those earbuds. It's my hype, my hypothesis. So say because I follow like on TikTok, there's a couple of people that do like observing mm -hmm. for like VCT. Mm -hmm. So the in ears have like game audio, comms and stuff like that, whereas the actual headset is for white noise. Oh, so uh, that makes sense. Crowd, yeah. Or at least for like live in person yeah. matches. Yeah. Yeah. Because it gets so loud at those. Oh, it, I mean, people get hype. Yeah. It's a. Cr I I would love to go to one of those events. Me too. It'd be really fun. It'd be really fun. Maybe somebody from, from Amazon.com can come and bring this guy a, a new headset. I'm not sure. <laughs> Same I'm not name sure delivery. Yeah, or Jimmy John's. Get it there freaky fast. That's what <laughs> we need at the moment. Or uh, Little Caesars, the hot and ready headset. Yes, there you go. There you go. Somebody get this man a headset. <laughs> I feel like at this point I would just play with no headset. Just play with the stereo audio. Literally. Just been stuck here. <laughs> oh, it looks like they may have gotten everything fixed. Okay, they here we go. We've got the ready signal. All right, perfect. Back to the games now. For <laughs> all those, for all of you guys who are saying Caster start the game, we I'm starting the game now. We're starting the game. Okay. <laughs> we got it figured out. I shipped him a headset. Yeah. He got I'm there. Sorry. He's using it. Wake up. We're, we're all good. All right, perfect. Oh, they're not asking. <laughs> Communication here is not a strong suit, apparently. Well, they want to just make sure everything is set. Yep, yep. Imagine, like, not being ready and having a false start, like, halfway into the round. I mean, like, we did not say we were ready. <laughs> okay, here we Sorry, go. Sorry, Caps. T timer is count down now, and the round will finally start after an extended, extended tech pause. It'll be interesting to see if this tech pause did come. There is the KO on the owl yeah, side. Very instantaneously. Oh, Miata's yeah, gonna take a lot of spray damage. They're gonna hit B real or A really aggressively here. Jeff's already up on what? generator. Wall. wall <laughs> Miata <laughs> just got wall banged all around. Just all around. That's his uh, car off for the spray. Apparently. Debacle. Yep. That's what you get for being canceled. <laughs> Let's see if Luff can get one with the knives. Oh, no, oh. he does not. Can't decide which of the three people on his screen to, to shoot at there. That's just really it looks unfortunate. Looks like this technical pause really did hurt the momentum. Oh. But Pony is also going to go down. Oh, he also popped his ult. It is right. now a 1v5. Basically. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, so coming out of the tech pause, uh, the Owls flawless the Lakers. So uh, let's get some momentum back here, boys. 
And we did lose two ults on the Lakers side. Yeah. We're now up to four ults on the Owl side. Yes. I don't know. This is actually this is actually really, really, really interesting because usually the defense half on Ascent is the better half. Yes. And we're seeing the attack half for the Owls go really swimmingly. So it'll be interesting to see if GV can't pull it back just a little bit here on defense. Will their attack half also be really good? Not sure. Cover going Looks out. like we see the Owls KO is doing, might look a little bit mid. This is a little 3-2 split from the Owls. The Lakers knife is not going to quite hit anybody, I don't think. Yeah, I think they're just going to try to play for picks here. They were super aggressive last round. Which is smart. Change up the play style. Exactly. Trick them. One of the one of the biggest components of Valorant is just controlling the pace of the game. Exactly. Right? So if you can dictate how fast a round is played or how slow a round is played, you're usually in a pretty good nice shot from Bluff. Bluff gets first blood right in mid. Will repeat Get mid. Nope. Nice. No, it's like so. we got the pick. He got the assist though. He hit him for fifty five in the body. Enemy tag. Alright, five E three now for the Lakers. Up two lives. Sprays oh. to the smoke towards tiles there, but won't hit it. Trying to push them back. None of the owls have spike though, so. No. That has been left in B main. And Typical their default. omen is still staying over on A. Luff is aggro with these peaks today. I'm loving it though. I mean, he's he's hitting his shots. He's pushing them away. It's yep. great. It's working. If you can keep them off site, looks like we are going to commit and execute on into B main with a spike. Yeah, they only have 20 seconds. He's joining them. They don't really have any other choice at this point. They really point. don't. They really, really don't. It's going to be a slow walk up though. They got to go. They have 10 seconds. Yeah. You have Owl's to have at least one. four to get that spike down. How does a 2v2 Omen nice. and Jet versus Omen and Jet? All right, don't peek. Don't peek. There. <laughs> Great round from the Lakers. Great thrifty. I think Luff got four. No, I think it was, it was three or four. It was one three of the two. Or four. Great round from him, though. So we'll see the Lakers get a second round. Need a drop. Luff might be requesting an op. Yes, he is. Yep. All right. We're going to see the first operator come out of the game for Luff. He's probably going to play mid here with that. Yeah, that's the new knife. I have that knife. That thing is really nice. Here. It is really it's nice. It's so expensive, here. though. It is just, <laughs> it's a, uh, it's the Xeno Hunter knife, but better. Yeah. He's going to opt towards tiles from tree here. Fun Not op spot for sure. I don't anybody right now. I don't think anybody, yeah, nobody's really inclined to walk towards tiles. Looks They're like going they are going to do main. a quick hit onto B again. Yeah, the Lakers only have two towards that side right now. Well, they have one rotating. I believe it's Kaya that is rotating. I don't know how that alarm bot didn't see Pants, but it didn't. Door goes down. I think it may have been Pants' as alarm bot. It wasn't on. I don't think so. But we do have one. Now it wasn't. Oh, no, it wasn't. I just can't believe it didn't get. he didn't see him the first time. So 3v3 for the Lakers. Luff's Ops just trying to wall bang anything it can right now. <laughs> All right, and Mox for the Owls has the spike and is going A, and, and the Lakers don't know. The Lakers he also don't has know. the lockdown, so he might try and play it post plant, especially with Retap being so low on HP. Yeah. You Lakers. see Pants going towards mid here, trying to cut off a rotate. He doesn't Retap. know that the enemy oh, Killjoy is get already Retap. there. Might get the other one. They definitely know it's a rotate now. Yep. There's the ult. A little early, though. She hasn't even planted Spike yet, so that is a bit of an early KJ ult. She had the site for free. Alright, one or one v two now, but both the Lakers are really low. So it won't take mo much for Mox to get both of them here, but we'll see what the timing's gonna do because she's got her Oh no! Oh remaining. and then there's the enemy killed her. Doesn't know that oh well now she's not ah, Damn. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate there. Seems like that tech pause really did put a stunt into the Lakers' momentum, which yeah. is so unfortunate. I mean, they won that thrifty last round, though, and that round was really close. You know, only one owl survived that round, um, so these are still close rounds. The scoreboard doesn't necessarily tell the tale of the game. No, it does not. It really doesn't. So we'll see what the owls choose to do this time. We'll see if the Lakers change up any of these holds here. I feel like they need to start putting another one on B, though, just because yeah. of how quick the Owls like to play it. Yeah. But it doesn't look like the Owls are going to go B this round. They're going to go A again. Lakers are going to get aggressive with the Sheriffs in A main. 
Don't know that there's three owls there, though. Don't peek it, boys. Just wait for them. Just hold it. Oh, oh. no. Luff gets one, though. Fox is here. And pick, gets traded. But yeah. then Thrasova does trade Pony and Luff. So tough. Retap and the rest of the owls are just pushing onto sight. They've got sight for free for the moment. And it is going to be a retake for the Lakers. I believe the Lakers are both waiting to see yes. where the others are playing as well as to play together. Especially huge remaining. in Ugh. this. Now it's just a 1v4. Yeah, Pants gets killed on the flank That's there. an interesting smoke. <laughs> yes, it is. It very much is. But they get the kill nonetheless. So 7-2 now for the Owls. Be three more rounds here in this attack half. It'd be really great to see the Lakers get at least five here. You might see their turn on the curves. Uh, maybe. Maybe that's true. That's true. Can't always count on it, though. No. We do see retap with the jet knives. Wonder if we might see not buy rifles, play with the knives. No, he's going to have the rifle. Yep. And Luff has that off again, and we also see an Odin on the Dak, so we really interesting. Oh, jeez. So Not the Odin, Odin on Ascent. <laughs> on B site, too. So typical. Go for the quick wall bang play. Not look like the dart is going to hit anybody. The Owls are on a little bit of kind of a default split here. Although Dak will get some nice chip damage, though, against one of the Owls. Oh. Nice shot from Luff. Does see one more. Thought he got tagged with the drone, but he didn't. So up 5-4 now for the Lakers. We do, do see two up into tiles a little bit from the Owls. Looks like oh, they're no, they're bit... um, over by Catwalk. Yeah, so they've Excuse got a 2-2 two, two split now. They're just trying to see if they can, what site they can get a pick on and then probably play towards that site here. Lakers are starting to rotate towards A, though. And the spike is towards B. Here. But the Owls do start to bring it over through their spawn to A here. Laker Knife is going to grab, I think, maybe one Owl? Hit Omen, yeah. yeah. Do you, I think, see one up in heaven? Left. Oh, they're going to go for a re-rotate. They're going to go back B. They've got only 20 seconds, so it's got to be fast for the Owls. Surprised they didn't go through mid, especially because mid does not seem to be touched right now. And Lakers don't know that they're rotating either. Mox does get hit by the Omen Paranoia, but still chooses to peek it for left. some reason. He got caught in the crossfire. All right, guys, they don't have time now. No time, no time, don't peek, no time. Honestly, this point, Owls just need to save them. Yep. Good round for the Lakers. Four survive. Three survive for the Owls. And they but keep they both the Omen around. and the, not the, uh, the Odin yes. and the Hoth. Yes, they do. And looks like Pants did, get, did kill the retap at the end of the round there. Hurts their econ just a little bit for the Owls. All right, 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. Let's see if the momentum can start to swing in the favor of the Lakers just a bit more than it has the first 10 rounds here. Lakers definitely changed the tempo of the play there because they made it because the Owls were playing way quickly. Yes. And then the Lakers forced them to have to play slow. And yep. we can tell playing slow is not their strong suit. No. There is the KO right off the bat for the Owls. Does get taken down by Pony. By Pony and Tree there. Pants does get one. Does he get two? Down, it's not quite. He does get a jet. little bit of chip damage though. Does get wall banged though by Mox. He did a lot of chip damage he did. though. That was a lot of chip damage. All the Pants. owls are very low on health. Yes. Yeah, this can take some chip damage to the Molly. 3v2 now for Lakers. 3v1 now. Mox okay. does get you one tree. Run. He's got half HP though. Yeah, just get on that. Just stick it, Miata. You got this. Just stick it. Nice. Uh, yeah. Good round for the Lakers. Momentum does look like it's starting to swing in their favor. If they can get the the Owls to play a lot slower, they're getting them to play Last their game. Yep, the absolutely. Lakers are really good at playing slow. They play slow, they play precise, they play, like, meaning, not meaningful. Purposeful, there that's the word. Yes. Whereas the Owls seem to want to play a lot quicker right and a lot faster. Yeah. So catch the enemy off guard. So by playing a lot slower, Lakers are able to control everything that's happening in the game and mm -hmm. know exactly what's happening on the map, and we're seeing a really great example of it. Well, it's just what we talked about, too, controlling the pace. Yes. Whoever, whatever side can control the pace wins the game. Get out of my 
you get to play your way, right? So KO Knife will suppress Sova. That's really unfortunate. Retap does go down. But so does our omen for the Lakers. KO Dart or KO Grenade comes out here. Doesn't really get any damage on anybody. Sova ult comes out for the Lakers. She's like everybody's pressing up. And will get killed in Boathouse as the KO lane will There's take him down. Three V two. Yes. Lots of action going down. In just a short amount of time there. Solo's KJ is incredibly low on HP, I believe. Yes. Pony trying to spray through the wall, see if he can get any chip damage going down. Seems like the owls are definitely playing more towards Boathouse. Yeah. I see the dart pony does get picked with that dart. Oh, Hawks is like one HP to dream. Yes. So it's essentially a 2v2, as Box has likely just said, one HP. Oh, jeez. Lakers will go down, unfortunately. So the half will be 8-4. Will be 8-4 at half. It's not awful. Lakers did get a couple more. It was looking a little bit like it was getting away from them for the minute here. But now we're back. It's halftime. 8-4. to four, And the Lakers will go on de or attack now. So with the Owls being on defense, it'll be interesting to see if the hold's about the same for the Owls, if they'll play it a little bit differently. Looks like the Killjoy for the Owls is going A. I believe so. Usually you almost, almost probably like 99% of the time you see you see Killjoy play B on this map. So we well, yeah, are interested to see if how the Lakers they play this tempo wise. Yes. If they can keep this as a slow pace, I think they will be set. But if they try and go for a Leave quick aggressive no push, I don't know how it's gonna go. Well, we don't know what the the owls holds are yet either, exactly. though, right? So we don't know how they'll react to those quick takes. We don't know how they'll react to the slow takes. Looks like. Jet from the Owls tried to get a quick little kill B main, but nobody was there for the Lakers. Nobody was peeking that. So she kind of wasted her, her dash utility there. So the Lakers will try to go through Tree. Very lucky for Luff that he didn't get killed by the Sova Dart, but he will be 10 HP. As the Killjoy turret did chip him down just a little bit. And the first down, trades are starting hey. to come through. Lakers are down, though, 4 to 2. Oh, jeez. Classic headshot, but it wasn't enough. And Pants is in mid. Doesn't have the spike. It's just kind of lurking here. See if he can get a couple kills or not. We do Seems have... Like Mike come across the Owl Sova, who is low very on HP. Low. Yes. Does also have turret. Oh. Takes a little bit of chip damage. Oh, unfortunate. Recap. It was very close. If he could have gotten the kill on that Sova there. If he could have gotten the kill on that over there, it might have been really close, really close on the round. But just a pistol. But Waukesha will go up another round and make it nine to four. We'll see what uh, what the Owls do here with their buy up. Their Omen so far has only got the Deagle. So will he buy any sort of rifle or an SMG? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Like a couple of the Lakers are buying sheriffs though. That makes it a little bit easier. Looks like it is going to be a 3-2 split. It looks like that's a one-way. Yeah, typical Omen one-way in, in a scent A main there. Backst does seem to do some chip damage onto the Sova. Yeah, it takes your shields off, a little bit of HP. It looks like the Lakers are going to rotate over to A. Yeah, they saw a lot nice of utility. The yeah, they saw a lot of utility come out B main there, so probably a smart decision. They only have one really on site right now, one in tree and then one play in mid, so if they can get this first pick... Oh, uh, but the jet for the Owls will see the whole team. KO Knife comes down. They'll all be suppressed. Retap does have a Vandal. That's going to make it really difficult for the Lakers. Gets one. Will get traded, though, instantly. Oh, jeez. Another 41. Yeah, but everything goes wrong for the Lakers after they get into the site. So Pants will be the last alive again, and he was just kind of lurking B. He doesn't get caught by the knife, though. No, so they don't know he's there. He might be able to catch one off guard, but the door is closed, so... Be a little more difficult situation for him. Just see if he can get maybe one before he dies. Would be absolutely ideal. 30 seconds left. And he won't get anything. <laughs> Looks like they had a starting contest for a moment. Yeah. Both of them were probably a little bit surprised to see the other one. This will be 10-4 now. Waukesha up. It looks like we're just seeing the absolute inverse of what we saw last game. Lakers still have the opportunity to pull it pull it out, though. It's It's not over. This game is not over yet. You definitely swing the momentum. I think 
from playing a little bit too split might be downfall. But yeah. Calling my bot. I think you play together. I think they're right? playing. I think it looks like they're gonna be playing together, which might be different. Mm -hmm. Definitely changing up the strategy because the owls think that they're playing split, like they normally have been. So changing it up after a couple of losses, a couple of rounds lost, we do oh, see. Oh, that KO knife's gonna get three of them though. The KO's both knives are gonna get people. Oh jeez. Peddler is gonna get first blood. Luff goes down, so that's their entry down right there. It's gonna make it really hard for them to kind of take space on site now. Do have recon dart. Looks like the Lakers will start to back off. Probably a smart decision as there are three towards A now. But one for the Owls, the Killjoy will wrap back towards B just in case the Lakers do what they're doing and start to rotate a little bit. Might get a timing here, though. Oh. Pants won't know oh, that there's one like, cubby. They're just they're really like looking at each other. Look at each other. They have smokes. Oh, jeez. The second this smoke oh, no. falls. <laughs> oh, oh, no. The timing oh. there. I'd have jumped so high. The amount of times that we, <laughs> I think that's happened to to pants a couple times there, where he's so just bad. gotten the just the the bad side of the timing there. Really unfortunate. You'll see the sight line. So Born Brody is looking just right at the oh, wall. Oh jeez. But Tony does walk right in that sight line. The fact that that KO gets two there yeah, just really bewilders me. <laughs> really sucky because all he had was the. Was a spectre there, but the soul for the owl is going to peek and get just absolutely one tapped. We Got did it. only have a ghost against a vandal. It kind of makes true. sense. Yes, not the Dak. not the greatest peek in the world. He tried to get a little head glitch, but but Dak knew what he was up to. Mm -hmm. So it is a four v two. The Lakers do have better guns though. But I don't. I think that might be trying to save because they yeah. have to get on to say at either side. They won't have they won't have good uh, a good economy situation if they don't save these rifles here. So. Unfortunate for the Lakers. They'll go down 11-4 here. Still not over, though. They still have two rifles, so I believe they should be able to pull it back. We'll see what happens. I mean, it, this this round's going to kind of be like a bit of a broken buy, right? I'm yeah. sure not all of them are going to be able to buy a rifle full shield and full utility here, which just really sucks. I mean, losing losing your rifle round when they have their bonus is just really, really sucky for your economy. We'll say I love whenever we get to observe, we get to see the sight lines of players in yes. that and feature. It's really cool to see and interesting to see. Do you see a couple of guardian? We see a guardian on the owls have only a couple of rifles. It is gonna be an aggressive push. Knives getting, I think one Love's of just gonna <laughs> run in after he gets hit by an unfortunate and paranoia, and he will get taken out. The rest of his team was was nowhere close. I don't I don't know if he's Headler's getting I believe another one? Just playing, playing a little bit angry there, just running in, see if he could get anything. Might as well try. Down. Yeah. Lakers got to know, though, that anything can happen in this game. You could still come back from this game. Don't just throw it away. You can come back. If you, the only round you got is a one round into the half. You could do a oh, yeah. You could plus. come back from a 12-1. I mean, it's, it's, it's happened before. You let the other team get too comfortable. Then you can bring it back, oh, we right? Might see it. Oh, oh, the angle there for Pants is just unfortunate. Saw the, the left remaining. side of the body there. And it does look like all oh, things considered. Yep, damn. the Lakers will go down. It will be match point now for the Owls. They can still come back from this, match but we do point. see the knives on the Owls' side. I wonder if they'll pull it out the last mat round. Or if they'll hold on to it thinking GV will get it. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, if you got a full buy, right, it's kind of like a, a get out of jail free card, especially if that jet maybe possibly runs an op. Doesn't look like she's going to, but you spray your vandal out. You don't have time to reload. Pop the knives. See what you can get. Yeah. Um, but this has been a just a kind of a masterclass of ascent here for the owls. It makes me real really think that the owls picked this map. Yeah, a hundred percent. This was definitely the owls map pick. This is a best of three though, so the next game will be the tiebreaker map. Looks like JV's playing a little bit split via mid. Doesn't look like anybody's getting caught by that knife. Yeah. They do have a broken buy again. Take flight. Dak is going to drone in to tree. Is going to see the KO two. and the jet. Yeah, so Doesn't we know there's at dark, least though. 2A. So they are going to back out. Looks like the killjoy for the Lakers is pushing in. It does kind of pull back out. Not peeks his head inside. Nah, not right now. See if the Lakers can get a couple of picks here. It does suck on these match point rounds. Like, you just have to buy whatever you possibly can. Forces every round of your life. Yes. yes <laughs> oh, it looks like all the Lakers may have gotten caught by that knife. Unfortunate suppress there. They know they're a bunch tree. Here. Basically, almost all the Lakers here towards mid. 
Ko Flash will come through the smoke. Won't hit anything. Ooh, but Luff does the get the first pick. Will does take some serious damage, but now has a rifle Escapes, in his hand. Yes. And the Lakers get another one. So it's, it's 4v2. 2. Yeah. That's done. Oh, this man. Okay. So we had Box yeah. come through guard in there and gets one on Luff up heaven. Oh. Look he is going to take some damage on his own, own Molly. Molly. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> choice to, to throw a Molly and then, and then just run through it, right? I don't know about that one. Howls now have Spike. My, looks like they're holding back for the dart. For the uh, silver dart. Oh, I can't talk. <laughs> I mean, it's a 3v1 now. He's got to try whatever he can, I guess. But He's got to start defusing soon. And he no. will get shot in the back by Pants as that lurk comes from spawn, or through mid, through spawn, to heaven, to get shot in the back of the head. All right, yep. so 12-5 now. Like we said, it's not over till it's over, right? So Lakers could still bring it back. Would be nice, but that would be a long game. We'll see what goes on, though. Can Waukesha end it here, or will the Lakers survive another round? Let's hope it's the latter. Yes. Looks like Lakers are going to be favoring a little bit more of an A push. A couple pushing in through mid, possibly. But it does look like the Owls are just heavy holding on B. They are going to see. Yeah, there's only one towards A, and it's the Killjoy. Yeah. No, there's. Yeah. It was Lots of Killjoy was. utility A, though, so I mean, she can pretty much hold it by herself. But if the Lakers. The Lakers knew she was the only one there. You get a little KO knife, suppressor, dash in. Love is getting some sight. chip damage on KO and the Omen. There is only the one towards A right now. But there's just no movement on A. I know. If they could just get that one pick on Killjoy, A is free. Doesn't look like they're even going to try to go for A. It looks like they're trying to go for B. Yeah, they want they want some mid presence here. Three towards B, one mid. Actually, four towards B now. Looks like Gluff might be a little stuck. He doesn't know if he has the safety to peek out or not. Here. He has his dash though, so I mean he could just no, not anymore. Oh no, we nope. did avoid it. Barely. No, by that pixels. was the other. I think that was GV knife. Okay. Because that would have absolutely got him if it was out. Yeah. We'll dash up oh. to the KO as he tries to pop gets flash one. and gets the kill. Oh no. The Sova sitting boathouse. Okay, Luff oh. does get the trade, so it's a one v three clutch situation for Luff now. Left. Two in market gets one. one. Did you get the other? No. no. So the Owls will the take it win. there. 13 to 5 on Ascent. And we are going to go to map 3. All tied up. I'll be very interested to see what map 3 is going to be. Yes. No doubt. All right. So here we see the scoreboard kind of the opposite of what we exactly. saw last map. Uh, you have Dak and Luff up there as the only two Anywhere near the top of the scoreboard for the Lakers. No, the only two that broke 10 for the Lakers. Yeah, really unfortunate. I mean, Dak was the only utility player there that, that really was able to get anything done. I mean, Miata with the 4-14 four and 14 is just really unfortunate. We saw a lot of just, like, bad timings, especially for Pants there mm -hmm. on, that, on that awful smoke. <laughs> On that awful smoke in Top Cat. It was, just, it was just a brutal game for the Lakers. I think it really just comes down to the pacing. I will say, for the Owls, they did play Ascent really, really well. It yes, was they a did. great way to show how you can play on that map. I feel like Ascent is one of those maps that a lot of players either really love it, really hate it, yep. or they just don't know how to play it, so they avoid it at all costs. Yeah. Um, I know some friends of mine that hate the sense so much because they can't play it, so they dodge whenever they get it. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> it, it's weird because if you can play a set well, you can control a game. Oh, in a yes, split absolutely. Second. Absolutely. Like we said, it's a very defense sided map. So, really, not seeing the Lakers get anything defense side just really sucks. Just absolutely sucks. I mean, it was basically, like we said, I mean, it was kind of a master class. It was the Owls map pick, at least as far as we know. Um, certainly seemed that way. Uh, it's just really unfortunate for Lakers. Hopefully, though, let's not boom the mental. Let's take it back, map three, tiebreaker, first week. Let's get it going again. Get the intensity up um, and get right back where we were first map, right? Yeah. And uh, we'll be back here soon for map number three, tiebreaker. We'll see you then.